Hello everyone, welcome back to video number 24 and we're back playing Spennymoor Town FC on Football Manager 2019. As you know, at the end of the last uh, video, we got promoted as League Champions from League 2 to League 1. So this video is going to show you what I've done since then. What I've done is I've played right through uh, to the end of the transfer window, which means the first two league matches have been played. And I want to show you the ins and outs, first of all, in the new squad to introduce you to the new players. And then we'll play a match before ending today's video. So it might be a little bit longer, but just bear with me, guys. It's important to, that you know the changes that have taken place uh, since the last video. So as you can see, we've got a lot of players that have come in and a lot of players that have gone out. Just a quick rundown of who's left and any issues that you need to be aware of. We've got a good fee for Ollie Hawkins. He left having not really done loads for us, scored a few goals, but we got a good fee for him, so he moved on. Uh, Shoddy Poe left to Lincoln. Again, he didn't play a ton of games for us. Actually, he's already up for sale, which is interesting, but he did play 30 games for us, did okay. Um, ben Ashley Seal left on a free. Um, Shane McLaughlin left to Mansfield. Magnus Norman, who was a goalkeeper, played a lot of games for us, didn't he, over two seasons, mainly in the conference year. Didn't do great, but he was a backup. Uh, he's moved on as well. Um, Urkulani has moved on for 40k to Leke or Le Leche. I'm not sure how you say it. It's in Seri C. Um, he's he did well for us and never let us down in the two seasons he was there. But we I felt we needed better options in defence, which I'll show you. Chris Renshaw never played for us. He was a bad bad signing, and we managed to get rid of him for, on a mandatory agreement to Torquay. So he moved on. Harry Anderson came in in January, but he moved straight on to uh, Bolton. We got 53k for him, to be fair. We made money on him, even when you include the wages. Uh, so I was happy to get rid of Harry. Um, to be fair, it didn't necessarily work out great. I got hit rid of him and Kyle because I'd struggled to replace them. But at the time, I thought I would do better to get rid of them and get better players. Plus, we're being offered big money. So I thought, well, I'll take it. Kaelin Lavery, I struggled to get rid of him, as you know, last season. He uh, scored a few goals for us, never never really got going, was on loan last season, now he's moved on to Morecambe in League 2. Jared Bird, he's been replaced but he did move on, played defensive mid for us all last season, did quite well and he's moved on to Plymouth. But the player that's probably done the best and probably the best bargain for another team is Johnny J uh, Johnny Byrne, sorry, who has moved for uh, some, some money, I think, 15k to Notts County and he's actually played in their first team and they're in League 1 so he's doing well. And he's the one player that's really, you know, kicked on from being with us. So in total, we brought in 375k, uh, which is pretty good. Um, and we obviously only spent 10, and that's actually only on a loan fee for for a striker. But I'll come back to that. So just going straight from the top, then guys, the purpose of the transfers was to just get better players in. And I've got Dion Pereira at the for as a winger, um, and he's come from Watford. And um, he did join us at the end of the season, but obviously before. Uh, we switched over, so that's why that looks like he's been there two seasons. He actually hasn't. Um, he played a couple of games in the Premiership, and he gets his chance uh, on our attack and left midfield. Um, defensive mid, Matthew Worthington. He's replacing Jared Bird. Uh, back up player, but could still improve, but he played a lot of games in League 2, did quite well. Um, and He's get, making a step up, and I'm hoping he can step it up. His stats look like he probably can. Ben Fox, steady away, right through the through the board in midfield. Just wanted a better standard, and he moves coming in from Burton. Played a lot of games last year in League One. He's proven at this level over a couple of seasons, and that's why I brought Ben in. Zach Medley was signed on a free transfer from Arsenal uh, after he got released, and his history is that he, he never played, but he's come into us and he started off well. He could be a real, uh, a real find there, Zek, not Zach. Um, what I like about him is his physical stats are exceptional and he's pretty solid when it comes to defensive, defensively as well. So he's got some upside and I think that's quite low for his valuation. Lawrence Vigoro, 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 um, is, is a player who, if you look at his history, uh, played for Tottenham, then he got signed by Liverpool on a free transfer um, and then he went, moved down to Swindon for quite big money for a young player, quite unproven. Um, and he's he's done you know quite well. Swindon were convinced enough to pay four hundred thousand to Liverpool for the player, and then he's been released from them. But he, he played a lot of games lower down, and he comes in as a backup to Kovar in goal. But he's definitely not actually far away. If you look at him, he's three stars, and Kovar's only three and a half. So he's pretty close. Uh, could come in as a deputy quite well. Callum Nysel makes a return to our team on loan for another season. 
Um, he's on loan from Leeds, who are our senior affiliate. He did well for us last season. If you look, um, played 39 games, got over a seven rating, which is really the the moment to become you know average to good. Scored a few goals, and I'm happy to make the step up with Callum and keep him on board. I think he'll do well for us. Uh, Cameron Humphreys is a backup defender. Uh, nothing much to say about him. He can jump well. His stats are solid. He's got upside. He's worth 65k. Um, and I find it hard to believe that he's worth 65k and Medley's worth so much less. But, you know, he's just a backup for us. He probably won't get a lot of games, but you'll see some action. Stefan Molls is a player whose stats are fairly solid. Got a big upside. Um, the interesting thing about him is he has actually played three games last season in the championship for Blackburn. Didn't set the world on fire when they released him. But he was in that team, so I'm hoping he can make the step up when needed too. Um, Matty Downing is a left back, just comes in as a competition for Seddon. He's a little bit better than Seddon, um, and he's you know hasn't started off great, but he plays that wing back support role that we want. So hopefully he can do well for us in that position. Ryan Edmondson is another player brought in on loan. What I like about him is his finishing's good, determined, good off the ball. Uh, his jumping reach is good, his strength's good, and he heads well. So on corners and set plays, he can poach some good goals for us. So we're going to use him a lot as our main striker, I think, this season. Um, Jack Clark has come in. Uh, what I like about Jack Clark is he did play a game in the championship again. And as you can see, he started off very well for us this season off the bench and is, is already forcing his way into the first team thinking. Pass as well, everything is, is good. Can't jump, but he's you know he, on the floor. He's got passing technique, work rate, off the ball. Where he needs to be in that Mazzala role, he is superb in that role. So we're going to accommodate that and use him. Paul Paling or Paling is is a player that I was very interested to get mainly because he finishes so well and he's so fast. Um, he's not a good as good in the air as Edmondson, but he is good off the ball. So as a kind of a poacher. He can come in and, and he deputises and it's between him and Edmondson for the starting place. And lastly, we brought in Bruno Andrade. He's probably going to be a fan favourite because he's fast, he's got good dribbling and he's very much of a flair player. He's also good at set pieces too, so he'll be useful for us in, in that respect as well. Um, he did play for uh, Peterborough in League One and did score a goal last season, so he is proven at that level. Played for Lincoln the season before, so he is, you know, well known to this level. Um, I didn't have really any other option, so I put him in. I brought him in, sorry. And there you can see the team are all pretty much three stars across the board. Um, Mick Roden's still doing well. He's actually progressing quite well. And uh, we've still got Ethan Robson, Seddon, all the guys you'll recognise. Will and Tomlinson's in there. There's, and if you look at the uh, the squad status, I've pretty much put it in in the way that I think that the, the team's going to line up. We've only got three key players as far as I can see, Medley, Kovar and White. And um, we've got first team players, Edmondson, Pereira, Downing and Sterry. Largely, and the rest in the midfield's pretty much um, open there. I've got uh, Andrade in his rotation, but to be fair, he is a first team player. There's nobody else really to, to play him. And I've got him as an inside forward attack on the right hand side. So I'm working on him. I've set the training up, so they're all going to work on that too. Um, we've got a good balance of left and right footers and I've got Worthington uh, in there too as a rotation um, I have, I've left the strikers both as rotation players as far as I can remember no I've got Edmondson as first team I might change that if there's any change um, but for today's game as you can see that's how the team lines up essentially here we've got Pereira as we can he's more comfortable as a, as a winger but what I want is my two inside forwards and I've got him training in that role uh, we've got Clark, is, I'm going to put him as a Mazala support, really try and use him to the best of his abilities. Fox and Worthington, everybody's very comfortable where they play. Uh, I've got Edmondson up there as a, as a, as a poacher, um, trying to get on the end of, I'm quite happy, I think I might just use him as a, as, as a winger, support and winger. But I want Andrade to be that attacking inside forward, so when the play goes down the right, he can poach off his crosses and everyone else can do the job well. And obviously we've still got Kovar. So that's going to be it for a second. I'm just going to check on the set piece takers. Uh, just make sure that everybody is where they should be. We may as well do that together, guys. Why not? It's the first video. Uh, so corners, we have right, we have Tomlinson. And left, we have Andrade. And that's basically it, really. Free kicks. We're going to have Ethan Robson on the right and left. 
and if he's on the pitch we're going to have Andrade as well so we'll leave them to uh, direct free kicks I think I have got direct small chance of shot we'll have the same again indirect wide and indirect deep quite happy with that so throw-ins we'll just give them everyone's pretty much the same and uh, downing will take it or Sterry and that's fine I mean have Ethan Robson in fact taken those uh, Right, so we'll just check our penalty takers just to make sure everybody is where they should be. Uh, it's probably going to be Edmondson, Andrade, Paling, and Ethan Robson, and you see the interesting thing about Paul Paling is a good striker, but he's no good at penalties. Hmm, interesting that. Right, and in terms of skippers, I have made Matty Downing because he's overall good. And I figured that Wellington wouldn't always play, but Matty Downing will. So he's the captain with Dion Pereira, who's a good leader uh, as the deputy. And stand-ins, I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm quite happy with those stand-ins. Probably Kovar over Sterry. Yeah, I think give him that responsibility. So, guys, uh, that is going to be it. Just a quick look at the the start of the season. Now we've uh, just to finish off updating you. We drew our first match one one. You'll see that they scored in the ninetieth minute, but they were all over us, guys. It was coming. Um, so I really really struggled in that game. I was a bit worried, uh, but our defenders played well, which was pleasing. Downing was getting involved, didn't quite get the seven, and Edmondson scored, which is nice. So we could have won that game, could have held on. But we did manage to beat Ipswich and much more convincingly. You can see 15 and 6 uh, to their 5 and 4. Dozel was the, which I believe is Jason Dozel's uh, son. Uh, he used to play for Tottenham Hotspur back when I was a kid. And he's a, he's the business, this guy. He's a really good player. Um, and he, he tortured us in that game and he was, he was involved right through. And Clark came off the bench and did score a worldie of a goal that I would like to show you while we are here. Uh, if I just click that correctly, yes I have. Just to show you that guys while we're looking before we get into the match for today. Downing with a free kick, passes to Nysel, passes to Clark, and he hits that in the corner. That was in the 83rd minute and we were all over them, so we needed that. And that was great timing and he did a little somersault there to celebrate. So just to have one final look at the league table as it stands, obviously extremely early days. We well, we are ninth um, and we are potentially could have been as high as second if we could have held off Bristol Rovers who won the next game. So that's a good sign. Just to look at the season preview, what I find interesting about this is that we are uh, 100 to 1. We were as high as 35 to 1. Um, and obviously that is actually changing <laughs> as time goes by. So we've got Barnsley and Hull as the heavy favourites with Ipswich. And we actually beat Ipswich. So I'm quite confident that we potentially, I don't know how the computer works these out, but potentially we are... Um, very very heavy favorites to do well this season in my opinion and we'll wait and see how it works out so guys let's get straight into play Fleetwood hope you enjoyed that preview that is the team that we're going with today Jack Clark's keeping his place and moving into a Mazala position and there's no other you know and Andrade comes in for his debut with Edmondson up front Medley takes the ball passes it forward and goes to Pereira. He's a new player fit to get used to, guys, but I'm hoping that we have improved. That's to Downing on the overlap. The cross is made. The defender gets it out to Clark, who has Sterry on the overlap. I think Sterry's our longer serving player now. Fox out to Downing, and it's taken off him by French. Worthington keeps it in, does well, just avoids a corner. Passes it inside to Clark. And he honks it forward, it beats the defender, and Edmondson's going to be on the ball. He's got a chance. He crosses it and it hits the bar. Didn't sorry, he didn't cross it. He chipped it. Got the got it wrong. Andrade gets it back for us straight away. Sterry, can he get the cross in? He can. There's Edmondson and oh, a brilliant save by Quellen. I thought that was in. I was celebrating. An amazing save. Corner. French takes, and Kovar grabs it under pressure as well. Plays a long ball forward, and Edmondson. Nearly got through. Andrade gets the ball. A great through ball to Edmondson. And the defenders closed him down very, very well. 
second half begins and we were all over them in that half but hopefully we can convert and not avoid it being one of those games where they catch us on the break after we've been dominant so McKelney takes the ball forward passes it back to Staunton and comes to nothing Downing with the free kick passes inside to Tomlinson who plays it forward Paling's through and he scored late on it's Paling with his first goal of the season but it won't count oh what a nightmare just goes a bit early. Yep, clearly offside. What a disappointment. Great finish, though. Good sign for us if he can do that a bit more. Long ball forward. McCauley's going to get there. I do not believe it. McKelney scores. Very late on. That's a bit heartbreaking. What was the goalkeeper doing? Lansbury back to Edwards, who puts it forward. It's the goalkeeper's ball all day long. And we just spill it. Unbelievable. Downing. It's going to be snatch a late equaliser. Downing again. Plays it low. Inside to Anderson. We shoot and it goes just over the bar. Dempsey to hit the free kick. There's not much time left and that's it. So after that disappointing loss, we are 14th in the, uh, in the league. We've won one, drawn one, lost one. We could have won all three. But that's just life, isn't it? So it looks like this season is going to be a bit of a struggle, um, but hopefully we can kick on and begin to challenge a bit more moving forward. So thank you for watching. Uh, we'll see you in a couple of days' time for the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves and have a great week. Thanks for watching.